Hello guys, this is Abcor, and I'm going over my overall account for Tuesday. I would have done this earlier, but I'm just so busy. There's a few things I'd like to discuss in this account, and why you should continue to play Archland. This is a really great game, and I'm really stoked about it. I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm, in, I'm a strategy RPG fanatic. I like Fire Emblem. I play Fire Emblem Landgresser. So, this is... This is really good for me. So when you see this account, understand that I started like a week later. So my level is not where everybody else level is. Everybody's at like level 50 or 52 or 53. I'm only at like level 44. So I'm a bit behind. But I've made some pretty good progress. Since I understand the mechanics of the game, I was able to progress faster than normal. So the wheat didn't hold me back so bad, but you could tell that excuse me. My attack my my um account is a little weaker than normal. So when I go over characters, understand that I share equipment between my characters because I don't have full equipment sets for everybody and in order to progress in this game I gotta I'm gonna have to make a couple of equipment sets, so it is what it is. So I'll talk about wizards first. And this is my favorite wizard in the game. This is basically <clears throat> Leon with a spell book. Because she has Kanto constantly, constantly passive Kanto. I, I, I am so in love with this character. She's like my favorite wizard. And her stats are pretty good. She's over the thousand threshold for magic attack. Her magic defense is pretty solid. But once I start really controlling my... um runes and getting the runes that i want this will change i want her to be able to bait as well but she's such an incredible dps if i don't get that initially it doesn't matter she's missing some skill and that's fine i had i don't have access to higher level equipment to increase that yet so i'm okay with that so her equipment is thus it's that <laughs> her armor is pretty weak because i i put most of my resources and armor on my tank so she suffered there. But the weapon is good. The helmet is good. Uh, and the accessory could be better. But it's okay. I'll, I'll live. I will have to raise the level of her accessory though. And I took the top tree to go through. And it's working pretty well. Because she's a single target wizard. I would like her to be an AoE wizard later on. But for now, this is good. Because I'm doing a lot of PvE content. And for PvE you don't need like to do AoE so much. That's why I got him in the background. Atum is really good. He's actually my like visually my second favorite character. As I'm a big Sigheart fan. I'm a big Sigheart and Lena fan. And I'm a big Atum fan. And he's pretty good. I gotta level him up. So I'll do that later. But he shares equipment with Lena. But the staff, he cannot share. So I'm leveling up his staff. So I can interchangeably switch these equipment out. And I have a third wizard in the rank that I would like to build. But uh, where is she at? Where is she at? Uh, where is she at? She's somewhere. Uh, light. Uh, what is she at? Uh, she's not that great, but uh, she should be just somewhere down here. Let me go and look for her real quick. Okay, this is the second wizard I like to build. And she actually shares all of her equipment with Lena, so that's really good. But for right now, I'm really focused on Atum because... In order to go down your traits, traits require a lot of resources and stamina, so kind of sucks, but that's fine. As far as traits go, I did the bottom. And it looks pretty good for right now, but I will have to spend more resources into that. As far as warriors go, I'm pretty stacked. That's like my strongest uh, class right now. I have Charlotte, I have Shigheart, and and I have main character, Sanakin. 
So, I'll go in their equipment real quick. She has a strong DPS equipment set with extra movement. Extra movement helps with warriors because they're moving this Garbo. So this is really good. His equipment, his chest piece is low because of my tank. And his runes are at 10 and above. Not the best, but it will get better. At Sick Heart, his runes are at 10 and above. They'll get better. And they're at 10, and her and Charlotte's runes are at 10 and above. They'll get better. Uh, Sick Heart, his equipment set is a little better than Sanakin since I use him more. I max out his sword because DPS is his thing. So we max out the sword. We're going to max out the armor sooner or later. So it's working. And with Charlotte, I actually put uh, uh, some extra uh, as shard into her, quit her SSR chest piece. So it's a little stronger. Her weapon is almost slowly. I'm going to max it out. Like I said, I started a week late, so I didn't get access to her exclusive. That kind of sucks. But her power is good. His power is decent. For the level, anyway. His power is the weakest because he's still an art unit. I haven't got the necessary shards to get him to rank 4, so he's a little weak because of that. His stats should actually be higher than hers, so it is what it is. So as far as healers go, obvious is the obvious choice. I went crazy with the SSR. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stuck the SR equipment, but it was shiny, so I put it on. I shouldn't have done that. And her path is pretty good. I should have actually just focused on one line, but I actually wanted the extra spell, so I did that. Much to my own chagrin, so we'll have to wait. But we're actually going to take that a little further. And oh, let's look at her runes. Her runes are pretty good. But I don't want her to actually have a full healing set as she actually has good DPS potential. Since she actually casts single target attack spells that heal, which is really clutch. So I didn't like fully go into the healing set. But with... Uh, Lohannes, I did, because he's a straight healer. His DPS is garbage. And I did the same thing with him. I shouldn't have done that. And his equipment, of course, I, I got like addicted to the shinies. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. But he's pretty solid. He's like my best healer. I actually use a combo of her and him for healing. And as far as tanks go, I put like almost all of my resources into Gabriel. As you can see, most of her equipment is maxed out, and of course a shiny appeared and I had to put it on her because I like shiny stuff, I shouldn't have done that, etc, etc. I went down the one straight path, because that was a smart thing to do. And her runes are, her runes are pretty good. I got two 15s. SSRs, but I actually want to replace some of this with uh, more SSR runes. That's why I have to uh, I have to farm more to get the shinies. So it is what it is. Cause yeah, these are so rare. The sixes and fives, man, that's pissing me off. So I looked out and actually got one here. So. It is what it is. But I switched gears with her and Belette. Oh, what the hell. Sorry about that. I haven't done much work on Belette, but I have to now since I'm getting the higher level content. I need a red tank in order to tank uh, the, um, the bosses because... I need the elemental advantage or I'm going to get crushed. This is equipment that I'm working on because I actually want her to stand alone from uh, Gabriel because I want to use them as a two combo in the tank academy missions. But resources are thin, so it is what it is. So let's go to my ranger. 
Of course, again, I'm addicted to the shinies. I know that I should just have focused on SSR equipment and leveled it up to five, but that's my fault. And I'll tell you that is wrong, and I'm the example of it. But I love this character so much. I played her, and I realized that everything I would want a ranger to do, she does. So she's become a staple on my team. I got her literally like two days ago. I actually had to spend money in order to get her because I went to the 90 pity rate. I actually got Atum first, and then I had to go 90 pulls in order to get her. So kind of sucks, but it is what it is. She's worth it. And her attack actually sped past like 1,000, which was crazy. Her attacking stat is crazy. Her crit is crazy. 101 uninvested concentration. That's crazy. Her defense is so solid for a dedicated DPS, which I'm really amazed by. The love they show this character is really crazy, but yeah. I actually have to take her all the way, so I'm going all the way down this tree to get her stats up. So we'll see how far I can take her. And after that, this is my second ranger, the free one. I was at least able to get her, and she was worth it because she helped me clear some content. She shares equipment with Simi, so that's pretty good. And her runes, this is her runes. They're above 10, so I'm trying to like max out and hit 15 before I hit. I'm gonna hit level 45 soon, so they'll go to 20. They'll max out at 20. But dust is so expensive. I think dust is like a real choke point for your stats. So last but not least, ranger, healer, wizard, tank, and <laughs> brownie. Brownie's the only archer I've been using. And I've been like slacking on Brownie, but I have to like get serious about him. As you can see, I actually have his weapon almost maxed out on stars. And his equipment and his helm he shares with another person. Yeah, I need to work on my archers, but my archers are weak. There's only four archers in the game, honestly. I have one, two, and I'm missing two more. And I didn't get Capet. Because I, I came late. That would have been nice if I got Capet. This would have made my um, journey through this game a little easier. But I do not have her. Kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So let's go to Promised Land. I did pretty good work in Promised Land. Because I, I, I played Clash of Kings. So I understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. That's why my level is higher than it should be. So let's go into that real quick and show you what I've been doing. As you can tell, my warehouse is pretty high. It's at 12. Most people don't have warehouses that high, but later on, you're gonna need it pretty high. And I have my wood, my stone, and my mana, at least at 24. Once this gets finished, seven hours from now, it'll be at 24. Which is pretty good. I got one hour and 36 minutes on my um, castle. That's what I call it. And I have eight hours on my um, ruby, whatever it is. And I've been weak on this, but that'll come later. It'll be fast since I have the resources to do it. So that's what I've been doing here. But my academy is pretty weak. I'll show you why my academy sucks. My academy sucks, so I'm not ashamed of it. I actually have to farm this. Yeah, I have to farm this. So it's pretty weak. So, in the next couple of weeks, I should be farming that up. Because Academy is going to become more important for me as I'm nearing the end game. So, we'll end on me and my game progression. My game progression is pretty good, see, seeing as my level is so low. In fact, I need only clear so much content. Oh, so we flipped over. So, let me go into... Where is it at? Let's go here first. I'm nearing the end where I'm actually going to move into chapter 5, the last chapter. So here we have 45 content. I think I should be able to clear that. And on level 3. 
on hard mode, I have another level 45 content I should be able to clear. So tonight I'll probably clear that, probably make videos for you guys, because it is challenging content. And you can see my um, thinking going into these battles. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at winning these fights. I, I win more on preparation as opposed to just raw strategy. But a couple of tries, I understand the content and I pretty much figure out how to do it. And some of the answers are pretty simple. Some of the answers are not so simple. One thing about this game I really like, it challenges your thinking. Because some battles you can't win based on power, but your understanding of the mechanics. And I really like that. As you can tell, I've maxed out here. Until I like hit level 45, I won't get access to the level 50 content. So, I'm stuck right here for now. And until I level up a little more, I won't be able to clear this because I got to go 45 to 50. And I'm only level 44, so I maxed out there. So, I'm actually looking to challenge this guy as I have Sigheart and um, my Assassin. The problem is I won't be able to use my blue unit, so I'll probably have to use Simi, or um, the main character. So look forward to that coming out, because I, I believe that I can beat it. I'm quite sure I can. And here, like with the priest, this will be a little challenging, but I think I can, I still can beat this. The archer, I'm pretty weak. I actually have to build brownie in order to clear this uh, content right here. But I do well enough. But I'm going to need at least two archers to do 45 and above. And I've been slacking on this. Because <laughs> it, it bores me a little bit, so I slack. I won't hide that from anybody. And last but not least, I, I kind of maxed out here until I like hit a higher threshold. I can't get access to the other content. And I, I've, I've been doing this. I'm actually going to make videos of these because they're interesting to me. But anyways, guys, if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you and later.